everybody, Coach Dave here. We have our six weeks to a six pack. Today's workout, we're working with some uneven loads, working on bracing and maintaining our stability through an uneven load. So we're gonna start with uh, superset number one here. We're gonna do three rounds of each of these three supersets. Number one, we're gonna have 24 kettlebell deadlift, uh, suitcase deadlifts. So it's gonna be a deadlift with a kettlebell to one side. So I'm gonna have it next to my feet, feet underneath my hips, pulling that chest up, protecting your posture, and I'm using my obliques to not let myself tip over through this movement, staying upright and strong with a good posture. We're get, gonna get 12 on each side. So 12 on the right side, I'm gonna switch that kettlebell over and get 12 on the left side. All right, after we get 12 on each side, we have all 24, we're gonna grow out of an ab mat. And if we don't have an ab mat, that's okay. We don't need one. It just adds a little bit of extra range of motion. And we're gonna go into 15 ab mat sit-ups. Immediately afterwards, touching the ground behind our head, our feet are butterfly together, and we're gonna throw those hands forward and touch our toes or the ground in front of our feet, making sure to get those shoulders past those hips on every rep. Those are our ab mat sit-ups. So we're gonna go three rounds through that first superset. And then we're gonna go on to superset number two. I just tapped out frame. All right, so we're gonna go into a front rack Captain Morgan pose. So, those of you who don't drink Captain Morgan's spice rum may not be familiar, but the Captain Morgan's pose is one knee up on that barrel of rum. We're gonna hold this for three seconds, descend into that lunge, and stand back up. We're gonna get three on each leg. I'm sorry. <laughs> Six alternating legs on one side. And then switching to that other front rack. Notice in my front rack, I'm not resting this on my shoulder. I'm making sure it's out in front, trying to pull me down. This is where I'm using my core to resist. Then we'll go into 10 dragonflies. After we have our 12 lunges total, so I'm gonna lay down, arms fully extended behind me, grabbing onto the rig or perhaps a kettlebell. My shoulders are off the ground, I'm in a hollow hold. My feet come up, legs straight onto my shoulders. I reach up, come back down, keep those legs straight. Shoulders are off the ground, feet are gonna hover, and back up. So when my legs come down, my shoulders come back up off the ground. We'll get 10 dragonflies. All right, three rounds through that superset, and we'll finish with superset number three. We have a 100 meter cross body carry. So we're gonna grab those kettlebells. We're gonna have one kettlebell in the front rack, and the other kettlebell is gonna be up overhead. And we're gonna walk for 100 meters. Again, that kettlebell's out in front in that front rack, not on my shoulder. Using that core to stay stable as I walk for 100 meters. If that's too challenging, we can go into a cross body carry in a front rack and a farmer's carry. 100 meters. And then we'll go into 20 up downs. An up down is a burpee without the push up. So we're gonna go onto our hands in that high plank. We're gonna kick our feet back and kick them back forward and stand up. I'm using a lot of core as I bend over, stand back up, stretch out. If I'm doing these 20 up downs, I'm gonna get a lot of core activation. At the end of those 20 up downs, now that you're tired, we're gonna finish off with a 30 second hollow hold. Shoulders off the ground, feet off the ground, toes pointed squeezing that core, shaking for 30 seconds. Ah, uh, and I get to rest. Three rounds of each, and you guys are done. Thank you very much, and that's today's workout. Awesome. Thanks, Coach.